Welcome to the mat, welcome to your practice, and welcome to my channel, the best place to practice holistic yoga for your body, your mind, and your soul. This is a gentle new moon yoga ritual that you can repeat with every new moon, or if you're a woman who bleeds, you can use it to align with and support your menstrual cycle. I am suggesting not requiring that you have a bolster two blocks, I have a blanket across my mat to create a cozy container, comfortable clothing, and lastly, I'd love for you to have a journal nearby or a notebook to plant your new moon intentions that you will water and nourish throughout the next month of living. We're gonna start with gentle asana and then move into pranayama paired with a mudra and a bit of stillness so that we can enhance our intuition, connect with our wisdom, and set powerful, meaningful intentions that align with our truth, align with our essence, align with our innate wholeness. All right, so that's our aim on the mat together today. We will start off in child's pose, balasana. If you have a prop available, you can use a bolster vertically at the top of the mat. If you have one block, you can place a block underneath your forehead to bring the earth plane closer to you to feel supported. You can also place a block underneath the top of your bolster like I just did. If you have two blocks, you can place one on the medium setting, one on the shortest setting and create a block tower here. Lastly, if child's pose is at all uncomfortable for the knees, you can place a blanket between the knees here, between the calf muscle and the thigh. Okay, let's settle in. We're here for about three minutes together. Place whichever ear down is most comfortable for you. Drape the torso down towards the earth plane, down towards your bolster. Get as comfortable as you can. The new moon is characterized by darkness, by a void of light in the night sky. It's a signal to us to draw inward, to retreat, to make space for rest, relaxation, introspection. And through this process of slowing down and withdrawing from the external world, we're able to reveal our deeper layers of knowingness, wisdom, and intuition that can hopefully guide our actions versus operating on autopilot. So this is an opportunity for stillness to connect with the divine feminine to soften the divine masculine that's often online. So we can hear our heart whispers. So we can give our wisdom body a voice. So we can allow new ideas and innovation to happen. This is a powerful moment. If you'd like to switch the ear that's down, feel free to lift the head and make that transition now.
Last three breaths here. Begin to peel yourself away from the earth plane, from the bolster, and set these props off to the side. And then come back down into child's pose for a thread the needle variation. Keep the right arm extended, and then sweep the left arm underneath here. Relax the forehead side of the head onto the earth plane. If you'd like, you can place a block underneath your head. This might feel really supportive. Support is key here. What we often fail to recognize is that the wisdom body doesn't need to be created. It's always available, it's always within us, but contrary to the inner critic or the small self that's filled with insecurities and self-doubt, the wisdom body waits to be spoken to. And we often need to be in a calm, centered, receptive state to make that connection happen. And the new moon is a perfect opportunity to open to your wisdom body's messages, to value what's coming through. And to purposefully quiet the inner critic dialogue so you can have these important experiences and conversations. Use the right hand to unwind and unravel and move to the opposite side, please. Left hand extends, right arm sweeps through. You could do a more dramatic thread the needle if you would like. Yourself to decompress and rest. Beautiful. Use that left hand to unwind the body and we're coming all the way down onto the back. Once you're on your back, we're coming into figure four. Cross the right ankle over the left knee, please. And let's pause here before we draw the leg in towards the chest. Pause here, take three breaths. Send the right knee away from the body. Last breath. Stay right here or draw the knee in towards the torso. You can clasp around the back of the thigh, possibly the front of the shin, and we're here for about a minute.
The new moon aligns with the wintertime season. It aligns with the rebirth phase after destruction has already happened. After that destruction, there's nothing left. There's this fertile void for something new to happen. The new moon aligns with the fourth life stage or the crone archetype. And the new moon aligns with menstruation when a woman is bleeding. And so these are all opportunities to slow down, to prioritize simplicity and stillness, introspection, so we can create something meaningful that matters in that fertile void that exists. Beautiful. Release the leg. Keep everything as it is as you send the left foot back to the earth plane. Shift the hips over to the right for a figure four supine twist. Let the leg package fall to the left. Right sole of the foot connects with the earth plane. Reach the right arm overhead and use your left hand to gently guide the right leg away from the body. Last breath here. <sighs> Bringing everything back through to center. Let's move to the opposite side. Right foot down, left ankle crosses over right. Pause here for three, three breaths. Left knee pulling away from the body. Now staying here or drawing the legs in towards the torso, finding a place to clasp. Feeling a sense of grounding as the pelvis, the low back, the mid back, back of the skull all make that earth plane connection. We are supported in slowing down here. We are allowed to draw inward. For me personally, I know I resist slowing down because I'm kind of sort of afraid of what my intuition wants to share with me because intuition often wants me to do things differently, which sends me into a state of uncertainty, a gray area that's wildly uncomfortable. Release the leg, come into that twist, right foot returns to the earth plane, shift hips left, whole leg package drops over to the right, left sole of the foot connects with the earth plane, left arm overhead, right hand gently guides left leg away from the body. I don't know if that's true for you too. But slowing down reveals knowingness that I can easily avoid by staying busy. The new moon is an invitation to face that darkness that lives within that we might be afraid of. 
and to embrace that darkness and set intentions in alignment with it. Last breath. Come back through to center. Bring the knees in towards the chest, please. Hug them in. And then begin to make circles on the ceiling with the knees, moving in one direction, opening the legs and closing the legs as you make those circles. We're really focusing on nourishing the pelvic region, especially if we are women who bleed. This is the area where our reproductive health lives, where our female organs reside, where we're experiencing the different phases of our cycle, especially menstruation that aligns with the new moon. Go in the opposite direction if you haven't already. But aside from bleeding, we're also just freeing up stuck tension, stale energy, and then bring the knees back into the chest, please. Extend the right leg long. Keep the left leg hugging in. The more we can peel away from the tension and the restriction, the resistance, that we create, whether it's energetically, mentally, emotionally, or physically, the easier it will be to access the wisdom body, which is a much subtler layer than our outermost sheath, right? Half happy baby. I like to bring my peace fingers around the big toe. You can bend the right leg if this is too much sensation. What is your wisdom body communicating right now? As we are slowing down, what messages are bubbling to the surface? Let's sit with that inquiry. Begin to release this, draw the right knee across the body, supine twist, left arm extends out. Come back through to center, keep the left leg extended, right knee in towards the chest. Again, what wisdom is attempting to be heard? Give it a voice. Arriving into half happy baby here. Draw the right knee across the body, left arm out to the side, supine twist. Keep inviting that intuition to take up space, to help set intentions, come back through to center. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, if you have two blocks, I recommend placing them underneath the knees here. If you'd like to place a blanket atop of you for added weight and comfort, do that too. We're 
We're settling in for three to four minutes. So get as comfortable as you can. Feel supported as possible. And internally chant Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Revealing our truth. Sat Nam. Just chant that quietly, inwardly, resting here. Taking three final breaths. Last one, inhale together. Collective sigh. Roll onto one side. Bottom arm acts as a pillow. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. You continue this mantra and pair it with both pranayama and a mudra. Sitting upright now, come into a comfortable seated posture. We'll use the right hand to close off the right nostril. Exclusively breathe through the left. On the inhale, I want you to inwardly chant Sat. On the exhale, inwardly chant Nam. Getting closer and closer to our truth here. Right thumb to the right nostril. Exhale to clear first. Inhale through left. Exhale through left. Inhale, Sat. Exhale, Nam. Inhale, your truth. Exhale to embrace that truth. 
Inhale, wisdom. Exhale, intuition. Keep breathing like this. A few more minutes. Final three breaths. Release the right hand, bring both hands into a downward pointing triangle, thumbs resting right here beneath the navel, fingertips pointing down towards the groin. This is the Trimurti Mudra, a gesture for honoring life's transitions. Roll the shoulders back and down, naturally align through the spine. Keep inwardly repeating Sat Nam. Sat on the inhale, Nam on the exhale. This is our final portion of the practice. Allow yourself to enjoy it, to embrace it, to connect with your wisdom, to reveal your intuition, to give your knowingness a voice. Last 30 seconds, stay with it.
Last breath, last repetition. Release the hands. Bring them into prayer. Inhale for Om. Slowly open the eyes. Now is the time to turn to your notebook or journal or the notes app in your phone and use this practice as the springboard to set those intentions that really align with your wisdom body around how you want to show up in your next month of living. So this is your cue to set those intentions. Thank you for joining me for this new moon ritual. Please use it regularly and often to support your greatest life vision and your greatest dreams that you want to make happen. If you like practicing holistically with me, get my yoga reset guide. It's in the description below. It's a seven step journey through the chakra system that provides on and off the mat experiences to build your holistic toolkit. Otherwise, happy new moon. I'll meet you back here to keep practicing yoga holistically together.